Hey guys, uh, it's been a while since I've been able to post a video. Had a lot of life going on. <laughs> uh, been through a move, been through some crazy stuff, and in the past week I've actually had some problems with my Dell G15 laptop. And actually, it's really not the laptop's fault or Linux's fault, but NVIDIA and drivers, he has been giving me some problems. And it's real weird for me because when I got going and did my research starting out, I ended up on Endeavor OS and I didn't have any problems. I have a hybrid graphics card situation where I've got the Intel and the Nvidia and it's supposed to be, you know, helping with the battery life and things like that. But what happened was, I don't know, I was going through, we were in the middle of uh, moving and a lot of life is going on uh, right now. Who knew? And I'm using my laptop like a normie would use their laptop, okay? I'm using it to watch the new Disney Plus show and play a game and do some research, all of those things, mostly browser-based and email. And I'm going through it. I realize, you know, it's been three or four days since I've had an update. And Endeavor OS is an Arch-based system. Updates happen pretty much daily. And I was like, why am I not getting any updates? And, you know, because I was in the middle of life, I didn't really pay attention and get to it quick enough. So I go through, I refresh the mirrors, and all of a sudden, boom, there's like 400 plus updates on the system. And I'm like, oh my goodness. So I go ahead and run the updates, and my system works. It just stops working. And I'm like, okay, do I take my time shift and go ahead and go back and just keep using my system and figure out what's going on and kind of narrow down what my issue is or do I take this opportunity to you know drive you know daily drive something else that I don't normally do like Fedora or OpenSUSE or whatever I was like you know what so that I can be better uh, equipped to uh, share my experience with you guys I'll take this opportunity instead of just going back on my time shift uh, which is just a you know a snapshot of my operating system at an earlier time. Uh, you know what? I'll just I'll install Fedora. Everyone, you know, I read. They're like, "Hey, Fedora is great." I'm like, "Okay, fine." So I went ahead and took the opportunity, installed Fedora, and I was like, "You know what? I'm going to use GNOME. I use KDE. I like LXQT." Uh, so I was like, "You know what? Let me just spend some time with GNOME and see if it you know grows on me and see see what's going on." So I get Fedora with GNOME going and I get to the NVIDIA graphics card driver install. <laughs> and I was able to make it work. I got the install happening, but I had to blacklist the open source drivers, which is uh, Novo or whatever they call them. Forgive me, guys. Um, but those open source drivers, which are great and well and good, and I know that NVIDIA has recently, you know, opened up. Uh, a lot of their driver uh, situation, and I know that that's going to get better soon. But at the time, I used DaVinci Resolve. I'm like, man, I need uh, proprietary drivers for my current setup. So I install it. I go through the whole install process, blacklist the Novo drivers and everything, and I can't get it to work. Now, my system's working. It's using the the in, uh, the Intel drivers. Uh, to get things going with Wayland and things, but I and it showed that I had the install of the NVIDIA drivers. So all my card um, working with Bumblebee, trying to to choose it. it was just getting really cumbersome. And I'm like, man, no wonder people don't like NVIDIA drivers. I, I can see why people are just when it comes to NVIDIA. I'm experiencing it already, which is my first jump away from Endeavor OS. With Endeavor OS, I had, uh, there's an application called the Optimus Indicator, and it allows for, it was allowing me to choose between my NVIDIA graphics card and my Intel graphics card. And, oh, not graphics cards, you know, the integrated graphics. And it was really easy and simple, and it worked just fine. But with the newest driver, it was messing up my system. I get to Fedora, get going here. NVIDIA wasn't working properly. So I'm like, you know what? I was wanting to use the OpenSUSE YAST software administrative tools. Like, man, you know what? Let me just learn that. I'll pop it on there. I'll put GNOME. I'll choose that. We'll put it on, get through, install the drivers, 
problems. I'm like, you know what? I'll try. I mean, I went through four distributions and then I said, you know what? Let me just go back to Endeavor OS so that I have a baseline system so that I can work. And I get to the NVIDIA graphics install and I have a problem again. For some reason, the newest graphics driver in my graphics card, which is an NVIDIA um, RTX 3060, the laptop edition, obviously, um, it just wasn't working. And at that point, I went ahead and uh, in the Dell uh, BIOS, you can turn off the integrated graphics entirely and just use the NVIDIA graphics card. So at this point, I went ahead and did that. This was just, there was just too many problems giving uh, me. And I'm like, well, guys, we're like, I'm, I was in almost a week in dealing with these issues along with life. So if I was able to sit down a day and work this out, I probably could have. But, you know, a part of what my channel is about is new users and everyday people using Linux and this was a problem. So I decided, you know what? I am going to go with Pop! OS. It has the NVIDIA drivers baked in. I also know that there are some versions back on the NVIDIA drivers uh, versus the most recent. And you know what? I'm just gonna roll with that. So I install Pop! OS and it's also, I know it's their version of GNOME. I know that they're reworking some things with the Rust uh, programming language, but I was like, you know, this is going to give me a, some sense of things and a, an Ubuntu based system might be good for me to experience and spend some time with. So let's spend some time in Pop! OS. I have it on my son's uh, desktop as well. Let's try it. I pop it up. I get it going. My NVIDIA graphics card uh, drivers are working just fine. And that is what I'm currently using. That was over a week of time that I was hoping to be able to record a video at that time and I wasn't able to. So I've got a couple of the things that, and look, I'm not blaming anyone. It's just time with life. And you know, it is fun to dig in and figure out what's actually going on and what's actually is wrong. But in my season of life right now, I didn't have, ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. So I needed something that worked quickly and easily. And Papa West solved that for me right now. I'm already getting a sense that I'm missing Arch already. Um, and I'm hoping to see some improvements on the NVIDIA graphics driver, uh, specifically with my laptop. There was something going on. Because at first I thought when I was going through and had to do those 400 updates, that it had been one of those updates. But when I kept coming to my step of getting proprietary drivers, on my operating system, that's where I was having problems. So, you know, I'm sorry I haven't been able to post in a bit, but that is what's going on. We're hoping to get moving here and get you something that would be fun and interesting. Uh, talking about Linux, I love me some Linux, still love me Linux, but NVIDIA, <laughs> NVIDIA, help us out. And I know you've got, we've got this open source movement happening with the NVIDIA drivers. I'm so grateful for that. I can't wait to see what that's gonna look like, but it's uh, it's been a challenge. But now I'm up on Pop! OS, so I guess I'm gonna be experiencing and doing a long-term review of Pop! OS. Um, so far, it's working as advertised. It works great. It works simply and easily. I'm able to, I've been able to install everything that I normally use today. I'm not filming on my laptop because I'm still in the middle of a move. So I'm on my phone today. I will be editing. I'm gonna go ahead and edit with Caden Live today just to see uh, and get some experience there. Um, we'll see how it goes. You'll, you'll get to experience that as well. But hopefully we'll get back to hanging out, checking out Linux together. Thanks for your patience, guys. I love doing this and um, hope to see you soon.